Hey everybody, this is Jace with ArmUS, and in today's Tech Connect, we're taking an in-depth look at the new Mavic 3 Enterprise and comparing it to the previous generation, Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. There are currently two versions of the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the M3e, which is focused more on photogrammetry, and the M3t, which features a thermal sensor. This is the model we'll be comparing to the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Jumping right in, you can see the new updated design. The Mavic 3 has a slightly larger footprint when unfolded, but the weight is nearly unchanged, with the Mavic 3 weighing somewhere around 6 to 11 grams more, depending on your configuration. The placement and method of the obstacle avoidance sensors has also changed slightly with sensors located on the corners of the aircraft as opposed to every axis. Given the angles, this would appear to accomplish the same coverage with fewer sensors. The Mavic 3 series also features onboard USB-C charging in addition to the standard charging hub available for purchase separately from the aircraft, along with three additional batteries which DJI is now calling the Mavic 3 Enterprise Battery Kit. It's also worth noting that the new Mavic 3 Enterprise batteries do not feature a battery warmer, nor does the aircraft feature onboard storage like the 24 gigs featured on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. There are, of course, other small refinements to the aircraft as well. A new prop design carries over from the Mavic 3, and an FAA-compliant beacon is now integrated directly into the aircraft, as opposed to being an optional attachment. Speaking of attachments, one of the major features of the Mavic Enterprise series is the ability to add onboard payloads. And it's worth noting that while these attachments came packaged with the Mavic 2 Enterprise series, these attachments need to be purchased separately for the Mavic 3 with an updated speaker and RTK module attachment currently available for purchase. The mounting method for attachments has also changed slightly. There are no thumb screws and the Mavic 3 features a USB-C port interface as opposed to the micro USB found on the previous generation. The M3e series features upgraded DJI O3 Enterprise transmission and features four antennas instead of the previous generation's OcuSync 2.0 with two antennas. This allows for higher resolution image transmission at a greater distance and is the type of incremental step we expect to see with each generation of aircraft from DJI. While both remotes share similarities, there are a few differences. You can see the antennas for the M3e series are separated and can be oriented in multiple directions, as opposed to the connected antennas for the Mavic 2 series remote. The external ports have also been moved from the top to the bottom of the remote. The HDMI out is now a mini HDMI instead of the full-size HDMI, and the full-size USB-A port is gone, seating to a single USB-C port that can be used for charging and data transmission. Finally, it's worth mentioning that while both remotes have a spec screen brightness of 1000 nits, myself and the rest of the ARM US team agree that the new remote is brighter than the M2e series remote. The M3e series has also gotten on board with the DJI Pilot 2 flight application along with the M30 and is integrated with DJI's health management system allowing for a one-click look at the overall status of the aircraft's sensors, batteries, DJI Care Enterprise, and serves as a hub for firmware updates as well. The main flight screen has also been updated with the navigation display at the bottom center, which features a compass, aircraft orientation, flight speed, altitude, and the obstacle avoidance sensor perception. Again, similar to the M300 and M30 series aircraft. Last but certainly not least, let's highlight some differences between the Mavic 3 and Mavic 2 Enterprise camera payloads. This is where the differences are the most noticeable. Let's start with the RGB or visible camera. The Mavic 2 Enterprise features a single RGB sensor with a half inch CMOS capturing 48 megapixel still images and 4K video, while the Mavic 3 series features two RGB sensors. The wide sensor being a half inch CMOS 48 megapixel sensor, and the telephoto being a half-inch CMOS 12 megapixel sensor. The combination of these two sensors provides a vastly improved zoom function with the RGB camera view. While the Mavic 2 Enterprise is strictly a digital zoom, 
The Mavic 3 uses both of these cameras together to create a zoom function that maintains more detail all the way through the zoom range. As you can see in these two images, there's much more fine detail down to being able to read the text on the side of this unit with the Mavic 3 image where it's not legible with the Mavic 2 image. The difference is reflected with the thermal sensors as well, but there's a bit of a trick to it. Looking at images captured directly from the aircraft, the two thermal images look practically identical. They both feature a 640 by 512 resolution thermal sensor, and to be honest, I'd be surprised if they aren't the exact same sensor. Also noting that between these two images, there does seem to be a bit more detail in some of the shadowed areas, which I personally would credit to some refinements in image processing. A much larger difference is obvious when viewing the thermal imagers live. Looking at these screen caps from the remote, you can see that the Mavic 3 Enterprise definitely has the edge when it comes to zooming in digitally. Our conclusion is that this is probably due to a combination of the new O3 video transmission we mentioned earlier, as well as additional processing to artificially sharpen the image while viewing it live. Finally, the Mavic 3 Enterprise has introduced features that have never been available on a Mavic before, like a pin dropping feature, zoom link between the IR and RGB payloads, and a longer duration flight time, and we'll definitely take a closer look at these features in more detail with some future videos, so stay tuned to the channel for those. So hopefully this has given you some insight into how the Mavic 3 Enterprise has improved over the previous generation. There are definitely some notable highlights like the differences between the cameras, the live views, the built-in beacon, and upgraded video transmission. Thanks for tuning into this video, and as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you have any additional questions, reach out to ask at rmus.com.